happy holidays. I am so excited to be baking in my brand new kitchen. This is my new apartment and I'm really excited. I think it's gonna work really nicely. So today what I'd like to bake in honor of the holidays is a gingerbread house. I'm gonna start by measuring out the ingredients, making the dough, then we're gonna chill the dough, then we're gonna cut out our pattern, bring the dough out, roll it, cut out the pattern with the gingerbread, stick it in the oven, then we're gonna make icing while it bakes, and then finally, after it's cooled, we're gonna put it all together and decorate it. We'll see how we do. So we start with a stick of butter, which is a half a cup, which I have left out to reach room temperature so it's not freezing cold anymore and will play nicely when we blend it. Next, we want a half of a cup of dark brown sugar. I don't usually have dark brown sugar around. I bought it for this and I'm actually very excited to see if it turns out differently. Brown sugar is, well, any brown sugar, light or dark, is sugar that has molasses added to it. So the fact that we're using molasses and brown sugar means you're gonna get a lot of good molasses flavor. And next, we're going to add a quarter cup of, the recipe calls for light molasses, which is just your normal everyday molasses from the grocery store. Apparently, I had to look this up. Apparently, if it's dark molasses, it will say so on the thing. So if it doesn't say it, you're fine. Is this spice? Here we start with cinnamon, and we're gonna do an entire tablespoon of cinnamon. And I mean, you don't need spices, I don't mind. If we're a little overspiced, it's gingerbread. Next, we're doing one tablespoon of ginger. And it's the gingerbread, I'm sure. I've never tried, I've never even heard of trying to make, just a little bit more just for fun, of trying to make gingerbread with fresh ginger? Is that even a thing? Like, literally, I've never heard of it. And finally, we're going to do one and a half teaspoons of ground cloves, which I kind of wonder if I have that much, to be honest. Yeah, no, we basically just have a teaspoon, and Emily's gotta go buy more ground cloves. Next, we're going to add one teaspoon of baking soda to my pot, which is looking really random. It's brown sugar, a bunch of spices, a stick of butter, and molasses. So now the fun part. We're going to cream this very random mixture until it is smooth. That's it. Okay, if I thought ginger snaps smelled good, this is like ginger snaps on 11. This is crazy good. This is what my mixture looks like. So now at this point, I'm adding two cups of flour and a couple tablespoons of water, and I'm gonna beat it all together until I've got a stiff dough, which it's already pretty stiff, so it shouldn't take long. All right, so now it looks doughy, like your classic gingerbread dough. In order to keep me from eating it, it looks and smells so good. We're going to take it all off this and make a nice little dough ball and stick it in front of me. All this and sort of smooth it up into something sort of resembling a dough ball. Flatten it out so it cools evenly and into the fridge it goes. Now at this point I need to measure and cut out the pattern for the gingerbread house. You might be saying, my Emily, that's a funny looking ruler. And the truth is this is my favorite ruler because this is the ruler I used when I was working for my mom's kitchen and bath design firm and it's got all the memories. Sweet story, I know. Okay, we're back, and my dough is a lot cooler. Um, I don't know that it's, yeah, it's pretty firm, so I'm gonna pull it out of here. Now what they want us to do is put this dough on a rimless cookie sheet, which amazingly, between my roommate and myself, we don't have one, and we're going to roll it out, so I'm, instead of a rimless cookie sheet, I'm using a rimmed cookie sheet. Whoa! 
but I've turned it upside down. Like that. So I'm going to roll this out. I think I need a little flour. Just a little flour down. I don't want it sticking to everything, you know, that would be a sad waste. Uh, this is like a game of bumper cars. Okay. Ah! No! Stay cooperative. <laughs> One step forward, two steps back. Closer! This feels more promising. There is now flour everywhere, not just on me. Okay, this is much better. So now what we do is we take a very sharp, straight-edged knife, and we're going to cut out all the dough around it and just leave the pieces on the board. All right, let's start here. I'm concentrating so hard, I can't think of anything fun or interesting to say. Sorry. Okay, that's it, I'm done. I am now going to put this in the oven. Ah! Now I'm going to put this in the oven. It's time to pull the gingerbread pieces out of the oven and then we've got some work to do. <laughs> One guy sort of burned and the rest of them all smushed up against each other. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm taking my knife, and with each one of these little pieces, I'm going to cut out the shape that I actually wanted. <laughs> we got through that. Now I'm going to take a minute, sweep the floor, turn the oven off, and try to make some order out of this kitchen before I make royal icing, and then the best part, decorate it. See you soon. Here we go. First thing for the royal icing that we're going to need is a pound of powdered sugar. Now I have put my mixing bowl on a scale, which I am just now waking up so it thinks that the bowl is zero. So I'm going to measure out a pound of powdered sugar. Next, we need one to two egg whites. When they say one to two, I take that to mean two. And I've got two egg whites that I'm going to put in with my pound of powdered sugar. And finally, I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla because if someone does happen to eat this, it better taste at least decent. And now, we whip for a very long time until it's nice and runny. And if it's not runny, I'll bring out the vanilla again and we'll add a little more, but. We need vanilla. Okay, now if I know anything about royal icing, it's that it sets very quickly. So let's get this into my makeshift pastry bag and get to work. So, dear old M, doesn't have a pastry bag. So as usual, we're making one. Now can I do this without making a mess? That is a very different question. All right, so this is a decent makeshift pastry bag. Okay, so I've set it up with a drip cloth basically out of paper towels. I've got my royal icing here. So what the recipe recommends doing is decorating all the walls and stuff of your house first before you put it together, which actually is kind of brilliant. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do. Oh, here we go, guys. No idea how this is gonna go. All right, so we have it beating. Completely misusing the pastry bag as my sister taught me how to do last week. 
or what, two episodes ago? One episode ago. And yeah, sorry. Sorry, Aim. But this is not as good a pastry bag as yours. And it's making a much bigger mess. Alright, before it dries, let's stick gumdrops on it. Oh wow, I think I burst a hole in it. Alright, we have candy. Let's make a gum. My house is covered in icing that spilled. This is not good! In fact, this is really bad. Wow. Alright, so there was a snowdrift that fell on part of the house and we will just make it work. See, we're covered in icing. I wondered why it was squeezing out so quickly. Now I know. All right, that needs to go. All right, once again, quickly, grab these and start making a roof. I bet all of you were like watching that happen going, oh no, and going, Emily, notice. <laughs> and I was just oblivious, going about my day. Like, I totally meant for it to happen. But that's okay, it adds character. We like character. All right, so those are done. I have sprinkles! And since I have these giant covered sides, let's use them. Oh, we'll have green elsewhere. Let's do some red sprinkles. All right, so I kinda have to save this. Where's it? Because I have to use that to glue the house together. But right now, I have to let this dry so that my massive sheet of snow drift on the side of my house doesn't come just falling off really depressingly. So, we're gonna let this dry, we're gonna eat some gumdrops, and I'll be back in a few minutes when it's dry.